I am visiting with Katie Black, who is the Director for Recruitment at the College of Agriculture, Forestry, and Life Sciences at Clemson University. But we're here to find out what summer program she has going on with high school students. Yes, we've got the South Carolina Commissioner School for Agriculture going on this week. It's a one-week program for rising juniors and seniors for them to get a great look at what we're doing here at Clemson as well as across the state in the agricultural and natural resources. When I look at the statistics, it sounds like, although agriculture is the largest business we have in South Carolina as far as it, it, income producing, but we've got some older people. Absolutely. Here we are doing all this research. We need some new kids. Is we, this program going to help with that? Absolutely. We definitely have seen, and actually for me in working in recruitment, we have seen in the last two or three years a huge resurgence in the interest amongst youth. So this program is reflective of that too. We've really this year had over 70 applications to the program. We take about 40 students into the program each year. So it's amazing the interest level we get from youth. And it is very fun to see this week them grow and learn more about the industry from what they stereotypically think it might be for a career. There are three paths from which they choose to specialize. Tell me what those are and what their day would be like. Sure, so th throughout the week they're allowed to choose from three different emphasis areas animal science, plant science, or forestry and natural resources. And they spend two days in their emphasis area out of the seven days that they're here, so they really do get a chance to look closely at what they think they're interested in, but then we also do try and blow their mind and show them things they didn't realize existed. But our animal science students get to visit all of our university farms. They also get to get into the laboratory and see some things that are outside of typical livestock production. They do get to visit a little bit about preparing for vet school, although we're trying to open their eyes to more than just vet school. Our plant science students are going to be out at the Musser Fruit Farm learning a little bit more about fruit production here on campus, as well as they're learning about aquaculture and aquaponics. Uh, they as well have been out and learned a little bit about soil chemistry and what's in soil and the importance of soil. And our forestry students have been today tracking and trapping wildlife. Um, they will go out into the forest and learn a little bit about the forest industry. Uh, they really get huge exposure across all of our different disciplines here. Well, we've enjoyed hearing about this and we want to um, now go and see and follow them as they go through their day. Yeah. I'm Maggie Barnett and I'm from Pendleton, South Carolina and I'm here with the South Carolina Commissioner School for Agriculture. The first thing that we did today was we went to the soil lab and Dr. Dara Park actually taught us how to identify different loams, sand, silt, and clays in the soil from all over South Carolina and she taught us how to identify color of the soils which she actually told us that um, over in places like Nevada and New Mexico, soils can actually be blue or green because of many factors such as organic matter or drainage or air exposure and just we did all the kind of stuff with soil today. After the soils lab, we met up with Dr. Ellen Vincent and she taught us all about horticulture here at Clemson University. She taught us about the different careers we can have, the mandatory internships that students have to take and every aspect of horticulture that Clemson has to offer here. And then after the classroom educational section, then she took us on a tour of the wonderful Clemson campus here. And we got to see gardens and trees and all the beautiful landscape here located on the university campus. This is just one of the many things that we've already done and it's only our second full day here. And I really encourage any student that wants to come here, you don't have to be in South Carolina, you can be all over the nation. We actually have a guy from New York and a girl from Texas here this week. So I encourage you all to come here and have a great time if you are interested in agriculture, whether it be plant sciences or natural resources or forestry or animal sciences. I definitely suggest that you come here because it is a wonderful opportunity for you. It's been a few years uh, since the commissioner's school. I went, I believe it was in the summer of 08, and uh, going into the senior year of high school. And, um, you know, it was great. Uh, we learned a lot uh, about Clemson, um, about the curriculum here, and all the different opportunities in agriculture, whether it was forestry, animal science, et cetera. The networking, they kept stressing. I didn't believe it, but uh, as I was accepted to Clemson, based off some of those contacts, I. I was able to go back to one of my, my friends from the commissioner school and say, hey, you want to be roommates at Clemson? Because he's got in too. And 
it worked out well. We were roommates for four years and, and you know, hang out a, a lot now. So that, that's, that's probably one of the better things. Started off, you know, thinking I wanted to be a, in forestry. Moved to uh, animal science with a, a pre-veterinary concentration. I stuck around here for a master's. As I was working on that, uh, an, an extension job opened up back in my home county uh, in livestock and forages. Uh, decided that would be worth uh, pursuing. Ended up with the job uh, and, and moved home and been working on completing my master's and we'll hopefully wrap that up in a week. It may help you set, help sell you on Clemson versus you know going out of state to, to Georgia or somewhere else. It, it really wasn't a choice for me. You know, I, I was a fifth generation coming here. You know, Dad said I could go anywhere I wanted. He was only going to pay for here. So um, that it, it definitely reaffirmed that decision. But uh, it's a week in Clemson. You can't beat that. Well, they do get quite a wonderful overview of the programs that are offered here and the depth and complexity of each field. How many children have been through this program here at Clemson? At the end of this week, we will have served right at 430 students. And do you see that there is an interest to some of them come to school here and to some of them stay in agriculture? Absolutely. We see somewhere between 70 to 80 percent of the students that come through the program do continue on here to Clemson and study in our programs. Others end up at some of our community colleges and other places around the nation studying agriculture. So we do see that the majority do stay in agriculture. What's really exciting is that now that we're wrapping up 12 years, we do have a lot of alumni out there that have great jobs and are doing amazing things in agriculture. A couple of those that are contributing back this week. Um, one that's in vet school is here to teach a sutures lab. They're going to suture bananas. Um, we've got another alumni who's coming back. She works for an ag lending agency to talk a little bit about her career in that agency. But we've got them all over the nation, some that are actually working in Washington, D.C. for USDA. So it's amazing where these students go from here. The new leader of Extension, I believe, had a lot to do with the beginnings of this program. Tell me, were you here at that time? And Absolutely. Were you involved in that? Tom Dobbins was my mentor and professor here at the university. In 2004, he established this program with the relationship with the Department of Agriculture and brought in the first class. It was only 24 students at that time. And we brought in the first class with that partnership and really have grown from there. His vision was to have the same caliber of program, the prestige of a program that the governor's schools have in the state. And I really think that we have set forth with his mission and been doing exactly that since that time. And by tying it to the commissioner and all of the benefits that he can bring and all Absolutely. the perks that he could bring to the program, that also strengthens it. How do you see that this program um, will go forward? Absolutely. So I, it's always been our goal to keep this program at a minimal cost to students. So we do a lot of fundraising with our sponsors and our relationships with industry. And what I really want to see in the future is, again, just the strength in the student continuing to grow. It's already very hard for us to select the applicants and, and choose the class. And I just love to see that, that academic caliber of student increase. And that's what we're really looking for in the future. And of course, to continually be developing the curriculum and the program that we put forward for them. If people want to find out more about this wonderful program you're offering, where's the best place to go? You can obviously find us online with everything else. We've, on Clemson's website, you can find out more there as well as the Department of Agriculture. Um, and as well, they can contact me directly. Well, we certainly thank you for letting us come today. Yeah. Um, I wish that I could roll back the clock and enroll in this wonderful summer program. Me too. I, thank you all for putting this on and for making certain that we will have the leaders in agriculture to fill the shoes of the great giants who are working in that area now. Absolutely. Thank you.